You be the judge. Is this a satanic symbol on this Mid-South school bus or simply a brake light? Some parents are concerned, outraged after noticing what they see as a pentagram in the brake light of this school bus. Well, WMC Action News 5's Kanji Anthony has more now on what some could see as the devil in the details. Robin Wilkins says she was so shocked, she snapped a pic of the brake lights in this Durham School Services bus at a stop in Cordova. Anyone who fears a God, if not God and Jesus Christ, should be outraged. Wilkins says it's appalling the brake lights are shaped like a pentagram. A pentagram is an upside-down five-pointed star. Merriam-Webster says the pentagram is often used as a magic or religious symbol. If you can't put a cross on there, you cannot put a pentagram on it. She points out just last month, Walgreens pulled wrapping paper from its shelves because the images appeared to be swastikas. Would we allow a swastika, for instance, to be on the back of the bus? We asked unsuspecting people what they think. People should be upset if that is against their um, feelings, religions, etc. And what they see. I see a light. Even if they did only see a brake light, they still had questions. Why do you put it up there? Why do they get it like it upside down? Joe Applewhite has been practicing Wicca 16 years. Is that a pentagram? Technically, yes. She says the pentagram is their cross or Star of David. Wiccan, we believe in God, we believe in Jesus. We don't call him God. She won't deny the symbol is used by Satanists, but says it is also used for good. Find out what it really means before you start getting all riled up and worked up about something. She wonders if people are making a whole lot of something out of nothing. Hey, go find out if it was intentional. Either way, Wilkins says the lights send the wrong signal and she wants them changed. To be replaced with just solid lights. Neither the school system nor the bus company would respond to any of the questions. From the newsroom, Kanji Anthony, WMC Action News 5.